It's West Reshow Live. Shout out to Magic 1075 975, Real Sign of Atlanta, and all of our affiliates. Today, we got another special guest. This brother's been doing it and doing it huge with his violin from state to state, country to country, and then basically any and everywhere because of his social media platforms. We got Dominique Hammonds in the building. Let me get my hype bell ready. You know, we're going to have some hype bell moments. What's up, big dog? Ah, man, not much, man. Chilling, blessed. All the musicians are so cool. <laughs> like, he's like, I'm just, you know, I'm just chilling, I'm blessed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, man. Um, I, I, we kind of got abreast with your backstory. Grandparents put that violin in your hand early. Uh, you get to playing that thing. I fought against it when I got an uh, instrument in my hand early. I got they gave me the little recorder. I just started making noise all around the house, man. What what made you stick with that thing, man? Uh, I was the same way, man. I fought against it too. I, I, <laughs> the violin was uh, it's a very hard instrument to learn. So it I, is. I, I wasn't no no parts of it. I was, mm -hmm. I was into sports. I wanted to do something with sports, but yeah, my grandmother, you know, she 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 had me on that thing, man, and I yeah. just got better at it. And over time, I I started really mastering the technique and mm -hmm. and getting it down, man. And after that, I was just like, all right, well. Since I'm getting good at this, I might as well just stick with it. Make it your own. Yeah. I like that, man. Um, one thing we see uh, with, with us, you know, our culture, we, we really get into hip hop. We usually fall in love with a, a song or artist, and then we start wanting to hit, a, you know, the hip hop stations and stuff like that. I know that kind of must have been pulling against you because you learning classical violin at right. the time. Right. That was one of them things, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I, you know, starting the violin, the classical is in my opinion it's the base of all music and mm -hmm. you, uh, once you get that classical training and that technique down you can play anything you want mm. so uh yeah I, was, I started off classical yeah all the way up until college graduated mm -hmm. from the university of oklahoma then when i came back to houston man i was like all right it's time for me to kind of make that transition yeah into popular music i got you man what was the point where you started playing this thing you getting good at it and you were like oh i'm him i might be, i might be i might have hands <laughs> uh probably i would say i would say in in high school i i had an idea that i was uh -huh. okay maybe may, maybe this is a because that's, that's when i started kind of making a little bit of money just okay. a tad bit of money and what was her name and well uh, she was like oh he played a violin dominique play that again for oh, me oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah now now what really the moment that really opened up for me was when when i graduated and came back from college uh -huh. i went to uh I, I performed at this jazz uh club okay and of course, I was doing ODs. I was doing, you know, Stevie Wonder. You know, a lot of yeah. a lot of the old stuff. All right. And man, people was feeling it. Mm. And that was my first time stepping outside of the classical music mm -hmm. and doing that type of music. And just the reactions and uh, just how everybody just loved what I was doing. Mm -hmm. Man, I, I was like, yeah, this this is it. This is it. Let's yeah, put the it. ball down. Yeah, yeah. We ain't no football, no oh, basketball, yeah. none of that. <laughs> yeah. It's violin now. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's go time now. I see you got the chain. <laughs> He's really in it now. <laughs> I love it, man. For those on the radio side, we got Dominique Hammonds right here, world-renowned violinist. What was one of those bookings that you got where you were like, y'all want me to go where to play? That's nuts. Alaska was probably Alaska. Yeah, was Tell like, me about that. You know, I you know I'm, I'm from the South, man. So uh -huh. I, you don't hear too much about Alaska. Mm -hmm. and Just on TV, we know about yeah. penguins and polar bears. That's it. That's, look, that's what I'm, I'm thinking. Like when I hear Alaska, I'm thinking Antarctica. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, uh, I, when they asked me to do a show there, I'm like Alaska. They, it's, you know, they 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 they, uh, they like music out there. <laughs> <laughs> no disrespect, but right. Um, I went out there, man. That was one of the best uh, times I've ever had. Mm, wow. Was, I mean, it was a lot of it was a sold out show, and mm. I've been out there three times now. Oh man, and, that's amazing. Let me hit the high bell for that. <laughs> <laughs> My brother playing violin <laughs> in Alaska. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's cool. What what were some things? Did you get to do anything while you were out there? Like in any like? Not too much. I mean, it was snow everywhere, so you couldn't really. <laughs> it was it wasn't too much to do out there, but. Mm. Um, yeah, that's it. Was I mean, just the, the I thought it was beautiful, the yeah. mountains and the scenery, it's gorgeous. Um, but yeah, no, they know how to party out there, man. Okay, it or not yeah, that's what's up, oh, yeah. man. You, you was doing a show out there. What 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 you hit them with when you hit that Alaska stage? I mean, a little bit of everything. I mean, <laughs> Michael Jackson all the way up to to some uh, some genuine. Uh -huh. some, yeah, I, I did everything, man. Chris yeah. Brown, all that. We love it, man. We love to see it, especially on social media. You do so many dope covers. We see those. What what makes you want to do a certain cover? Or is you just feeling the song? You like I could play that. Uh, yeah, it's kind of like a kind of like if I hear a song, I, I, I think I can play it on the violin. And mm -hmm. I just go in and you know it takes me about a couple of minutes to learn it, and mm -hmm. I just I record the cover. So it's kind of one of those uh, things where I'm just like oh, I can play that, and then mm -hmm. I just record it. That's it. I don't yeah. really put too much thought into it. Yeah. And then I, of course I get a lot of people asking like, can you play this song? Can you play that song? Mm -hmm. 
And so I'll just, I'll just, you know, create the cover for that. And yeah, man, they, 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 the videos do pretty well on they social media. They dig it. They love it. <laughs> yeah, they really dig it. I mean, you sharing it with the world, your talent, and I think that's a dope thing. So oh, other yeah. people to be inspired. I know it's people that probably hit you up and they're like, man, I want to play violin now. Oh, kids. All the, time. Mm. all the time. I mean, not even just kids. I, I get parents. I mean, people older like in, in their 80s man mm. said saying like hey man I, I, I bought me a violin yesterday <laughs> just because i saw you play so that's that's yeah. really that's really cool to see how how my vibe how my music is really impacting the world mm-hmm. and I, I get messages from people all over the all over the world yeah um just saying how, how much they enjoy my music and how my music changed their lives yeah. this is a really cool thing to see how does it make you feel, man, when you know that people are dealing with depression, they're dealing with hard times in their life, and just something as simple as seeing you play, hearing you play, can change the traje- trajectory of where they're going or how their mind frame is? Yeah, I, you know, I, I, f- I feel like God has given me this gift for that reason, to change lives. And, you know, of course, being a musician, upcoming musician, and mm-hmm. it comes with, the, you know, the money, the fame and all that and all that. But, but I don't really care about all I just care about changing lives, and that's – and, and to see, I get messages, man. This, I get really deep messages mm. of people saying, you know, I, I was going to take my life tonight. Wow. And I, I, I couldn't believe it. And it's multiple messages like that. Or I'm listening to your music and chemo, mm. you know, and that stuff really hits my heart. And, you know, that, that, that pushes me to work even harder to I put more it. of my music out there. Mm-hmm. And, and, and I see my music as healing. I see any music as healing. Um, so that I feel like uh, that's... That's 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 the number one reason why I'm still doing it. Man, saving lives one string yeah. at a time. I love it, man. Yeah, man. Talk yeah. to me about your projects that you have that people can get a hold to because obviously we know the covers, but you have mm-hmm. personal projects that people can basically grasp, listen to, and change yeah. their mood. Yeah, so I have. Uh, I just released last month my my second studio album. Uh, the Sweet Escape. Mm-hmm. It's all original songs. I know a lot of people know me from covers, but mm-hmm. I just felt like, okay, I, I, it's time for me to have my own music right. out there. So uh, that's all, that's available on all streaming platforms. It has 11, 11 songs on it, and it's 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 not a, it's not. I, I don't want to label it as a particular genre mm-hmm. because you get a little bit of smooth jazz, a little gotcha. bit of R and B, a little bit of hip hop, uh, all of it mixed together. So that's that's what kind of sets me apart from a lot of. Uh, a lot of other uh, other musicians cause yeah because i'm not music, in one yeah. one box yeah exactly yeah. and that that's that's what i really that's my platform is that's not staying in one but i don't want to mm-hmm. stay in one box so uh that's available on all streaming platforms the sweet escape mm-hmm. i do i do have my uh first debut album flavors that's available on all streaming platforms okay and then i have a few singles out that's going to be um uh, actually on my upcoming album mm-hmm. the diary of a black violinist and okay. that's going to be more of a hip-hop urban album yeah, yeah. that makes sense that makes yeah. sense for the name was was the yeah. number 11 significant at all no it wasn't it was okay. just i'm about to say that's my number okay then we nah. brothers we didn't even know it nah when i got to 11 i'm like all right man i'm look this is too many songs i'm, I'm, I'm tired now let's, let's just go into some yeah that's how that worked out that's beautiful <laughs> man um being a being a quote unquote black violinist we heard um a, a few people like don Sheila say i don't want to be you know i don't want to be a black actor i just want to be an actor right but the reality is we have a talent and we just so happen to be black too. Do you feel that way in any way? Like you just want to be known as a violinist or you just embracing in what you what you are and what it is? A little bit of both. I mean, I mm-hmm. want to be known as a black violinist because mm-hmm. like I said, there's, there's, there's not too many too many of us playing right. a violin or strings or instruments at, at that. Mm-hmm. Um, so to be able to see other black kids mm-hmm. in the orchestra yeah. and I, I get... Uh, parents messaging me saying how their kids started violin because of me. Mm. It's good to see because I, you know, g- me growing up playing a violin young, mm-hmm. it wasn't too many. Didn't of see us. anybody that I <laughs> so, can't remember right. any black violinists. Nah. So I felt I was very discouraged. Mm. Um, there's a lot of people who did not like it at all. Mm. I was um, that I was in the orchestra that I was first chair. Oh wow! Uh, oh okay, some a purist. Parents, yeah. Okay. A lot, of, a lot of parents didn't like me, mm. and you know. It's, it's just one of those things where that that encouraged me to keep going. Right. I was like, okay, bet you know I'm a I'm a I'm a all right. I'm gonna prove y'all wrong because a lot of a lot of doors didn't open up for me because yeah, you know what I mean. So, yeah, I, I understand. Um, but that's 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 exactly why I do what I do today so I can inspire the ones that's com- coming up. Yeah, that's that's really good when you hear that you were able to fight through that and mm-hmm. still. Let your talent and your work show where you should be at. Because as we can see, like a lot of the equal opportunity things are being stripped. 
Um, a lot of people talking about how it affects colleges. Some people saying I wouldn't have been able to go to Harvard if it wasn't for those rules that were set in place. But now those rules have been erased. Mm -hmm. So not that you got in first chair because of that. But it does make a difference sometimes. Like, yeah. we just need to be able to get into the room and then show our worth. Exactly. Mm. Exactly. That's, that's it. All right. And, uh, you know, I, I'm glad I was able to go through all of that because it, it really taught me a lot of things. Mm -hmm. it, it taught me a lot of things. And I can be able to teach that to the kids coming up. Right. You know, I used to teach private lessons. Mm -hmm. uh, so I had about 40 students until I started getting really busy. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I taught them more than just violin. I taught them life lessons. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And, you know, I, I even told the parents, I was like, hey, look, it's not just going to be violin lessons. It's going to be just life lessons. Yeah. And uh, working hard at your craft and, and making sure you stay dedicated, invest in yourself, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And I just I didn't incorporate that to, to the violin. So, yeah, you can't learn those personal experiences um, just by learning violin. Right. Like you're going to have a kid that may be a, another black violinist or whatever coming up. They need to hear your story because they may get frustrated and, and may, may want to stop right. based on those things happening. They make first chair or second chair. They, somebody's parent like, well, why are they there? Exactly. They need to hear your story. So we appreciate you sharing it with them like oh, that. Of course, man. Of course. And, I, and I'm always going to be a strong advocate of that and just making sure that uh, that uh we break that uh yeah break them ceilings break those quote, doors yeah. down yeah break those barriers man i love it man what would you go back and tell dominique uh at 17 right now what would you go back and say hey man look this is what we need to do if you can give them a sentence or two i would say hey man be patient mm. um those those doors are going to open up for you because that when i was that when i was 17 man that's i i want to quit there was mm. a lot of times where I wanted to quit the violin. Yeah, even in college, I was discouraged because I I was you know it wasn't a lot of a lot of us. Uh huh. And uh, I just tell them be patient, uh, trust in God, have faith, mm. and just know that it's gonna work out. I love that man. So tell me about some of these projects. Who are you working with on these projects? Yeah. So this project that I just released, The Sweet Escape, uh, it's it's produced by Cedric Patterson. He's mm. a bass player out of Houston, Texas, but okay. he plays so many instruments, and he's you know he's a, a, a very very good producer he produced a whole entire album hmm. and i co-produced it so it's just me on there i don't have any features mm -hmm. um diary of black violin is going to have a couple of features on there as well okay um and then we're actually um in a process of creating the sweet escape too mm. so if you haven't heard sweet escape <laughs> make sure you listen to it get familiar with it because we're going to come out with a second one and that one's gonna have an all star cast of just all smooth jazz artists. Cool. Yeah, man. I so, really love that. Yeah. That's dope, man. You you doing any collaborations with any other people that are big on social media, stuff like that? Uh currently not right now. Uh I've I've, I've worked with a you know, a few artists, mm -hmm. uh Chopper Style. I I've yeah. actually went viral on this, yeah. on this one song, Chopper Style. <laughs> And Chopper actually called me up, man. He was like, "Hey, man, I love what you did to the song. It's blowing up. Yeah, thank you so much, man. Come, come to New Orleans and 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 play. Come share the stage with me. That's awesome. So that was cool. And, yeah. Um, you know, I've been I've just been doing a lot of, uh, you know, uh, a lot of covers too. Yeah, a lot I of was covers, man. Who, who's <laughs> hit you up or or just said that's crazy? Like that Chopper situation that was yeah. like, wow, I did I, it. I get a lot of artists. Ashanti hit me up. I did one of her songs. She hit me up and mm -hmm. loved it. Mm. Um, Let me hit I mean, the hype bell for that. Everybody <laughs> wants to be hit up by Ashanti. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, he just said it so smooth. Yeah, Ashanti <laughs> hit me up. You know, it was cool. Yeah, I'm excited man. for you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was, I was going crazy, man. I was like, Hold up now, Ashanti. Sure. Like, is this real? I was like, I, let me just say, I, let me just say thank you, um, and then let it go because I don't want to seem like I'm, you know, thirsty and nothing like that. I but feel nah. you. but uh, uh, it was quite a few artists, man. Like when I when I do covers, mm -hmm. uh, that's the. The thing about my supporters, they they really support, and so they'll tag the artists, mm. and man, sometimes they'll just the artists will mention me like, "Hey, man, thank you so much. That right. was amazing," and, and stuff like that. Uh, TLC, yeah, uh, Chili hit yeah. me up, and she reposted. Janet Jackson reposted mm. um, one of the covers I've done. Uh, Tevin Campbell saw his cover, so it's a lot of lot of legendary artists out there. That that's what's up. Yeah, that's no definitely what's up. We got we got to get you with indescribable to do a remix to BBL's Killing Y'all. We're gonna hook it up. Yeah, we're we gonna hook it up. Man, what um what can we look forward to as far as your touring? Because I know you all over the place and people are pulling you to do, you know, different shows and things of that nature. Um, just uh, you know, uh look forward to a lot of energy, a great show. Mm -hmm. Um, I got merchandise on the way. 
uh, like I said, I be I have my album out, so you know we we mm-hmm. we we trying to we trying to. <laughs> It's, Keep it's it a moving. busy schedule, man. It's, it's a very busy syllables. schedule, and I'm, I'm, you know, we we got Germany in a couple of weeks, and mm. then London, and then, um, yeah, we we've been moving, man. All right, man. We've been moving, so it's a blessing to be able to 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 visit all these cities, meet so many people around the world, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, man, we just taking a day at a time, but we we gonna. We're going we gonna to get there We're going to get there Alright let's there. go ahead And hit this fast Four questions man These four questions Answer them any way you want to It could be right. one sentence could be one word You ready Alright All right. Your favorite city To perform in And Ooh. then hang out in New Orleans That, that was too easy <laughs> New Orleans <laughs> yeah. has to be like The top five answers We get on this show For that question Right oh, there yeah. man yeah, New yeah. Orleans He's like, You yeah, know I, you have a good time In New Orleans Absolutely <laughs> It don't even have to be Mardi Gras Oh no Oh no, oh, no. <laughs> Alright man If you were on tour Give me three other artists That you want to be on tour with But y'all are also Shooting a reality show <laughs> Janet Jackson Okay uh, Beyonce Mm. Uh, you see, I'm naming all women. <laughs> this man wants uh, to have a. He's he. You got to do festivals. You oh can't man. even do stadiums oh with nah. this lineup. Oh <laughs> nah. and, uh, gosh, I guess I guess uh, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be I'm, I said I guess Drake. I don't know, man. There we it's, go. It's yeah, so many yeah. Options. Stevie yeah. Wonder. Excuse me. I oh got, yeah, there I you gotta go. Do, yeah, Stevie Wonder mm-hmm. for sure. There you go. There yeah. you go. Was that the most influential artist for you? Kind of. Yeah, he's mm-hmm. definitely one of the top for me, top three influential mm-hmm. artists for me. Michael Jackson, then also uh, violinist wise, Noah Porner was my inspiration. Okay, yeah. All right, we, we definitely look up that name. A lot of history in that name, oh, yeah. right there. Oh yeah. So if you were doing an album, actually, you know what? Let's switch this this question up for you. You're doing a cover, but the artist is gonna come in and walk in and surprise everybody while you're recording the cover. What song and what artist is it? It's gonna be, isn't she lovely? Mm. Stevie Wonder, and he coming in with the harmonica. Oh, it's man. gonna play them on Instagram. <laughs> I just, vis- I just visualized that just now, yeah. man. I, don't, I, don't, I got a little excited over here. Man. That's what's up. Yeah. We got to make that happen, oh, man. Oh man, look, it almost happened. Mm. But Talk, COVID, tell me what we, happened. Tell me about that. Yeah, we. Uh, I forget. I think it was gonna be on. Steve, I forget. I think it was gonna be on Steve Harvey's mm-hmm. show. Yeah, and they were gonna try to get uh, surprise me with Stevie Wonder. Oh man! And and then uh, unfortunately, COVID, it was during COVID, yeah. so it it just didn't work it out. Happen, yeah. It didn't work out. It'll yeah. happen. Yeah, so we're gonna I'm put like, it out man. there. Yeah, but you know, I didn't let that discourage me. I was like, you know, it's, if it, it happened once, and I'm sure it happen again. But yes. I'll make a way. Amen. Amen. Last question. What was one of the funnest TV experiences you've been on? Because you've been doing a lot of a lot of TV, a lot of prayer. Everybody wants Dominique to play on that TV show. I mad he don't have his big violin. He got the chain violin, the big violin. Today. <laughs> uh, what is the on TV? Um, I don't think I ever had mm. experience on a funny experience on TV. Yeah. A one that just was like you, you doing it, and you realize like, wow, this one, man, this what I'm doing right now. I can't think of. It. Mm. It's I too many. This man's yeah, doing too, too much stuff. Yeah, man, I'm doing so much. <laughs> Dominique, man, we appreciate you pulling up on us. Man. I know you're super busy, man. I appreciate you for having me for real. Germany, UK, America, Alaska, which is oh, yeah. I know it's America. I just yeah. want to make it make it another hey, place. It's still far. It's, it's far. It's far. <laughs> so. Right, yeah. but, uh, right. I appreciate you having me, man. No this doubt, was, I had a great time. No doubt, appreciate you, yes, sir, boy. I'm, I'm not going to dap him up too hard. I need to keep them hands right. You know what I'm saying? He make money with his fingers. Oh, man. That's appreciate what I'm talking about. All right, y'all. Appreciate y'all, man. Shout out to she. I appreciate you, Miss Robinson, and of course everybody that's been tuned in to Media Campus West Reach Radio. We're gonna get back to this music. We got more guests as always, and make sure you check out our last episode, a webisode, a podcast of Excellent Adventures. You want to learn how to homestead, backyard farm, and all that. We got some questions answered for you, all right? And it's right there on all podcast platforms. We appreciate y'all for tuning in. You know who you with, your boy Reese, and we gone. It's time to see who's with Reese. Hey, yeah, who you with? Wendy Williams is in here. How you doing? You know who is the top five dead or alive?